What is up, guys? I am Guy Swan, and I am not a developer. I cannot code. But thanks to AI, we can build whatever we want. And today, we're going to get into some stuff. We are going to build a price ticker. We're going we're gonna to learn how to use APIs to call information from another server. And we're going to integrate that to make a Bitcoin price ticker and a sats per USD, uh, sats per dollar price ticker for our computer that we can run locally that will pull the information and give us the Bitcoin price. And it'll look just like this. I made that. Sort of. All right. Well, let's get into it with the second episode of the Devs Who Can't Code, building a Bitcoin price app. All right, so speaking of Bitcoin, we are in today's episode of Devs Who Can't Code. Um, I'm the one who can't code, and we have hope here, and we are going to build. <laughs> we're going to build a Bitcoin price tracker, a really fun Bitcoin price tracker. Uh, and this is going to help us. So hope, as you tell me, this is going to help us. First, obviously, just like a really simple app interface, but really I the, got the value proposition the here. Okay? It's to you learn how to, see API, Bitcoin how to price. use an API. Every, every Bitcoiner, you op they open up their phone, the first thing you see, Bitcoin price. That was the last thing they Google. Go to any convention or anything, you, you just steal one of their phones and look at the Google search. They Googled that. People are going and wasting all their time looking at that shit all day. <laughs> you always want to know what the Bitcoin price is doing. So why not just have some auditory feedback? So you just go to this website on your phone that has connected to a, uh, the Binance API. So you're constantly tracking the Bitcoin price and you just have your headphones and you never have to look at it. You can just tell from audio. Like if it drops down at like $1,000 in a second, you'll just hear, holy fuck. And then you know, like, oh, the Bitcoin <laughs> price is tanking. <laughs> we should, uh, we should, we should figure out in the next iteration how to figure out how to integrate the AI voice things. And then I can just read the, I can read the price. If you if you, if you select AI a button voice, or, you, or you hit a notification or something, AI voice. it will read. You can do a re AI voice thing, and I will read the price. It will read the price. You can voice. read the we price, or we can have another LLM come up with responses because we could tell it the more the more the price drops, the worse it is. And because LLMs are good at sentiment analysis, so you can say the more price drops, the worse it is. The, mm -hmm. the higher it goes, the better it is. So just come up with something to say, and then. Oh, we, there's no end to the tomfoolery, actually, now that I think about it. There's <laughs> no end to the tomfoolery. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, let me close all of these tabs so I have a clean workspace here. I, I mean, I, I would need an API for that, right? How do I get the API for ChatGPT? No, I've never been able to use it remotely. You need a CLI. That would be great to be able to do. I have not looked into the OpenAI API. But if we want to build a sentiment like generator, and then have it create an AI mm -hmm. voice to say like dynamic things that it comes up with on its own. We'll we'll need to mm -hmm. use the ChatGPT API. But I did find the CLI, so you can use ChatGPT through the terminal if that helps. Someone built one. Gotcha. Alrighty. So. Let's clean all this up. And here we are in our chat GPT-4 coding corner. Do they have five available yet? I don't. So I know they were talking about it. Apps I haven't checked like this, yet. where you know you just need information from another server, you know you just need information from mm -hmm. another server, and you just want to display it, when mm -hmm. it's front-end things like that, I would just do a create React app before you even talk to chat GPT, and then frame the idea as like, listen, we have a Create React app. This is going to be a front-end application with no server. We're just using an API. When you give that framing, mm -hmm. it's way easier for ChatGPT to give a relevant and useful answer for things. I think one of okay. the biggest pitfalls, if you can't code and you're developing with AI, is not giving mm -hmm. enough framing and not explaining what you're doing thoroughly enough. 
because coding is very, very complicated and very contextual based on what exactly you're doing and how you're doing it. So if you don't give all the relevant context, you could get an answer that won't make any sense to you very easily. So okay, creating the React app and saying we have so, a React app and we're using the Binance API, that will be mm-hmm. greatly reduce the area for ChatGPT to think. Gotcha. So to start with, does that mean we're using Visual Studio Code again? Oh, yeah, yeah, always. Or is that the easiest way to do that? Yeah, okay. It's so just we're using Visual, Visual Studio Code, which I was introduced in the la- literally the first time we did this, uh, was my introduction to that. Uh, so, all right, well, I'm going to just, again, I'm a, I'm a dev who can't code, so I'm just going to ask. I'm using Visual Studio Code, and I want to create a new React app to track the Bitcoin price and use an API to pull that information. What's the quickest way to get started and make my app? See what it says. You have to be very polite. I should say thank you. (laughs) Creating a new React app to track Bitcoin prices using an API involves straightforward steps. Um, uh, Here's a quick guide using Visual Studio Code and the Create React App tool along with fetching data from cryptocurrency APIs such as CoinGecko. All right, install Node.js and NPM. So we've already done that. We did that in the last one, actually. Um, But these are actually the uh, instructions. I have the link to this in the show notes. Installing Node and NPM is actually very straightforward. Yeah, Yeah. when you go to the website, they make it very simple and easy. All right. Um, So this says to create a React app, use NPX, create React app, Bitcoin tracker. Is this is this what you would do? Is is this the easiest yeah, way to start? I would I would after would that I would add dash dash template space TypeScript just because I only use TypeScript because I'm not a lunatic, but that alone does also okay. work. <laughs> okay. And then you CD to the then we move to the directory and then we start. Okay. But well we we don't need to start it yet. But we're going to copy this code. We're going to do what they say. We're going to say npx create React app Bitcoin tracker. Installing packages. Users guide Bitcoin tracker. Mm, I should have done this on the desktop. So it's a visible. So Bitcoin tracker is done. And I'm going to CD to this. Uh, which this actually won't work right now because it's not in the same, it thinks I'm in the home directory and I just moved it. So I'm just going to drag and drop for anybody who doesn't use the terminal a lot. That's my favorite. That's the easy way. On, I had on no Mac. idea you could do that with Mac. Oh, dude, I do it all the time. And also there's another really handy tool. Um, is So I've highlighted Bitcoin Tracker right here. If I right click and do copy, like I'm going to copy the file or the folder, right? If I hold down the option key, I can copy the path name. Yeah, so I can just paste, and now it's the location rather than the file. Um, I use that a lot. You just saved me so much time working on our project. I already said the name, but (laughs) (laughs) you you just you have no idea. Yes, you can't code. A lot of time. We know things. We know things. What I don't. (laughs) Um. Okay, so now we are in the Bitcoin Tracker folder. So we're going to fetch Bitcoin price data. Uh, API is a free option, requires no API key. Going CoinGecko API. So they're already giving me. They're already giving me the whole thing. Holy crap! Hell yeah! Wait, is this just? Wow. Okay. Uh, Wait let's... a minute. Is this the whole fucking app? Did, did we just finish? The this might be. Are we are we done? Is this episode over? Hold on a second. We'll Let's see. see. The tricky part. The tricky part is fig- we need taking to know. the answer and turning it into something that compiles. Yeah. Okay. Oh, whoops. Some wrong thing. 
All right, so let's see what they did. Uh, you can use the use effect hook to fetch data when the component loads and the use state hook to store the fetch data. Uh, modify the app.js file in your source directory to include the API call. Um, so you think I should do this in visual code or I should I just do this manually? I would do this in VS code. I would copy that and I do would it in just VS put code. that okay. VS code. Okay. It's not a matter of efficiency. It's a matter of, uh, for like, if you're a dev that can't code using AI, doing things right. in a streamlined way yeah. will make... Mm -hmm. A big part of coding is actually muscle memory, believe it or not. Uh, uh, oh, save. What the hell is this? Oh, that's our last app. Uh, no, actually, that well, it, it is. I was moving, I was modifying it. I'm trying to modify the to-do list to build oh, a yeah. uh, an app to organize our storage, our, uh, like, Halloween and holiday and Christmas storage. Oh, that's right. So that, There's so that we can I look thought. inside the boxes um, uh, just by scrolling to the app and, like, looking inside the boxes. Um yeah, and then I we can saw scan an QR codes package. on the front of the box. Yeah, I, f I, I don't think I sent... I think I forgot to send this to you, but... I mm -hmm. You said that, and I, I don't think I responded, but I did look into it. Uh, that that might be helpful. Um, yeah, that would be great if you, if you had some input on that. Uh, modify the app.js in the source directory to include the API call. So I'm going to do this and modify it so i would so import logo import app function app bitcoin price set bitcoin price app header blah 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 so would i just put this before or after well i'm gonna it says this so is just what i would do here's here's my answer and this is a very blanket thing that will apply very often across mm -hmm. languages the bottom of that code block is an export and the top is an import mm -hmm. that is a very yeah. strong indicator that whatever is in the file just replace the whole thing with that just replace the whole thing yeah okay. replace every All everything right, in that that js with that yeah i guess i remember you like typically it, this will start have the with the logo and end for... with exports yeah 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 okay um I was thinking of trying to put them together. I would import this and then have the other function and then have this function, but oh, there's no uh, reason I need you, the other one. The have you seen a, what the Create React app looks like out of the box? It's just a... The logo is just a React it's symbol. It's just a page. Spins. It's a page with the logo. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I remember that now. I, I looked at it last time. Um, uh, you can add right, app so CSS file effect. to style. Use effect is a, a um, updating function. And it takes mm -hmm. two arguments. If you see use effect, uh, the syntax is a bit mm -hmm. complicated. People that can't code don't, won't understand this. But if you see use effect, and then at the end you see those open and closed uh, brackets, that use yeah, effect is right one here. that only runs once on page load. We'll probably, since we want to track this actively, that's not going to be sufficient mm -hmm. for tracking changes over time when you leave Updated it on in the every... background. Yeah, but we can't code. We'll we don't know how to minute, fix that. Maybe? So, but yeah. Yeah, yes. but we, we can't code, so um, we can't fix it. So we have to ask ChatGPT to fix that. Fetch the API. So let's get an API key. Oh. Do you need Isn't one? Isn't there a free one? Uh, oh, we it don't. It doesn't matter. We, we, we don't. Might. Do we need one? It doesn't. We don't. Fetch. I don't think we need it. I don't is think there we do. any API that will let us do this without a key. I don't think we do. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Look, it's working right now. If I just punch in the the thing, epic. It just shows it right there on the screen. So okay, no, so yeah, that's, we're good. That endpoint returns a JSON. Okay? Yeah, has one key right. Bitcoin. So that is just which the is link. A object, dude. We're we're literally kind of done. Um, uh, no, that's not true. We we need to clean it up. And no, we need to make I'm it telling you, not constant we can add the and like thing. other stuff. 
We can make it yes, sw- that's curse right. at we need us to add the voice when thing. the price drops. Um, okay. So let's see what this does then. So oh, if the price to, if we get a green candle, CSS. we need like a Martin Martin Screlly quote, and if it drops, we need like a Sam Bankman Freed quote. <laughs> All right. Um. So I'm in the thing. So I'm just gonna do npm start. Dude, we're done. If we get if, we have if a, we get we have more than five hundred, we didn't do anything. If we Devs get more than five hundred dollar price, we're not done. We're not done. That's not going to update. That's just <laughs> going to sit done. there forever. I know. But I know. if I we to... if we get it to go up like a thousand dollars in a single tick, we need like it needs to be like Michael Saylor. There is no second best. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. So modify. I think... how do I modify this app to update every minute? How's that sound? Yes. With a new price. I cannot believe how easy that was, though. Like, I just asked how I would start, and it just gave me the whole thing. That's what I'm saying. For simple things that, like, any hobbyist or average person would want to do, you don't need to know how to code anymore. That's where AI Mm -hmm. comes in. Like, the people that do know how to code build the complicated... It's crazy. The people that know how to code build the toolbox now. And then AI can just use those tools. Mm-hmm. But yeah, until we yeah, have the, Neuralink the, living as being a human able to have and, all of these, <laughs> I, I just I personally I don't think programmers in general will be replaced until we can have machine learning algorithms that can live as humans and understand understand words in the same way that we understand. Like when you say Apple, I'm not thinking of how that string of char- characters relates to other strings of characters i'm thinking of what an apple looks like feels like tastes like when we can get machine learning models mm-hmm. we could train off of that then i think programmers won't be needed anymore but... and elon musk is trying really fucking hard to make that happen <laughs> all right so it looks like error handling the example includes basic error logging to the console blah 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 API rate limits. Yeah, I have no idea how how much the rate limit it's, is. It's telling so you it looks about like the I am just replacing this entire thing. So APIs, this I think it's it's a little bit specific, but I think it's like general enough that people would want to know it. When that use effect thing ends with those open and closed brackets, it's not going to be spamming. Mm-hmm. It's not going to be spamming API calls. Those, it's only going to run that gotcha. once per page. If you if you don't if you don't put it in a use effect, then you might be spamming the page. You're going to cause a feedback loop. If you uh, don't put that API call in a use effect, you're definitely going to cause a feedback loop issue. Gotcha. And you get banned, or Clean, depending on what you're doing, you can face criminal charges too. So. A... I'm not kidding. That's how you uh, DOS somebody. Dark mode style and orange highlight. Dark orange highlight. Yeah, dude. Let's just let's just keep it. With I that. don't I'm even. I'm gonna see it gives me. I, I don't even consider using AI to use do CSS, but it gives it gave pretty good results. That's one of the first things time. I've used it for. Yeah. 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 Wait. There just needs to be an easier way to deal with this uh, in like a complex app. If I could take this t- type of utility, why is it giving me? Have, hold on a second. Hold on. Yeah. Why is it giving? Oh, 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 oh! I guess it has to. It's it's making it diff, simpler the, for the, you. The class and so stuff. you don't. Gotcha. So you gotcha. It, what gotcha. I think what it's yeah. doing is giving you the uh class names and stuff, so you don't have to like figure yeah. it out yourself. Yeah, that's that's I realize that you're you're correct. All right, so there I'm doing that. I'm going to save, and now I'm going to go to. Uh, oh, interesting. Uh, There's oh, an error. CSS, there it is. I'm stupid. This isn't going to work. Wait, what? 
Where'd you see that? I just that's interesting because this isn't gonna work. It doesn't import the CSS file. The JavaScript hmm. file needs to import well, the see. CSS file. Gotcha. Okay. That's I am going to copy the CSS then. Um dark mode look. And then we're gonna give it the error when it gives us an error. Yep. And is there any do I need to keep any of this? Should I no. just replace it all? Always delete all that. Um there is a okay. package called okay. normalized CSS in NPM. That's very mm-hmm. useful. Um it basically adds all the basic stuff that you'd you'd always be typing in for CSS anyway, because the default setup for CSS A sucks across the board and B it's different between browsers, but normalized CSS will keep everything standard and reasonable. Gotcha. I'm probably putting so, people with this info. This past version. <laughs> um, all right. So I'm going to just run this again and we're going to see what happens. So you're right. It didn't work. It did not give uh, the thing. So I'm going to tell it that. I right, Let me go ahead and close. Oh, wait. The do, thing you, again. do you want to open Control that up again? C. Wait, there, there could be a uh, better. Yeah, sure. uh, not the terminal. Open up the. Uh, uh, Browser. Yeah, it's just delayed. App. Yes, yeah, inspect it. Inspect it and look in the console. Okay, if there's yeah, no. I, I wasn't expecting errors, but as experience. a general rule of thumb, for the devs who can't code, mm-hmm. when you you take the AI output and put it into your code, and it's not working as expected, that should be your first step. One, look in the console for errors. Um, look at the console and give it that information. <laughs> yeah, I'd say seven times yeah, out of there's ten. There's nothing wrong. It, it just gonna doesn't be see the CSS file. Yeah. Gotcha. Assuming we don't know that, okay. we pro- right. probably just say it. Say the CSS. I didn't work updated or the app.css file, but okay. it looks the same when I start the app. Why did this happen, and can you fix it for me? The context on this, like, these these answers are long. It's crazy how much this is doing in one run now. This show is brought to you by the Cold Card Hardware Wallet. My favorite setup, which I know I talk about a lot, is the Nunchuck Wallet on mobile that just connects directly to, or just talks NFC, Whenever I need to sign, the nunchuck does not hold my keys. It is securely on my cold card, not connected to the internet, not vulnerable to a phishing email or any malware or anything like that. If I ever need to send a transaction, I just create the transaction on my nunchuck wallet and I tap it to my cold card. I hit sign, I tap it again, and then off it goes. There is no easier interface and way of interacting that grants a higher level of security, in my opinion than that right there. It's genuinely incredible to me that we even have this capability in the Bitcoin space. And CoinKite has just made an entire suite of fascinating security and just fun Bitcoin devices and hardware products, like the block clock. Just connect it to your node and have it show the the Bitcoin price, have it show the block height, just right there on your desk in this really cool package. If you haven't checked out what they have to offer, You definitely need to. And don't, when you go over there, do not forget that I have a 9% discount code. Bitcoin Audible, all one word, gets you 9% off. And you can go through the link in the show notes or just remember the discount code, which is not hard. It's just the name of the show. Um, uh, You can go through the link in the show notes to go right there or just go to the store, browse around, see what you want, get yourself a solid hardware wallet, experience the tap to send with a cold card hardware wallet it is it's just kind of magical and uh get notified for the q1 i'm really stoked about my my cypherpunk blackberry the new model that's going to be coming out so check that out as well um and uh yeah don't forget nine percent off the link is right in the show notes go check them out what's a little bit startling is um it's slowing down if you're a dev that can't code and you're looking at this from like an entrepreneurial standpoint if you're using OpenAI or mm-hmm. one of these large commercial LLMs, be very careful of uh, these things steal licensed code and they'll give it to you. 
And so you can unintentionally like violate licenses. Uh which doesn't really oh, matter if you're just building some home hobby project. Who cares? It- mm-hmm. Hell yeah. This is great. Yeah. I- I'm just gonna stop it. It doesn't I don't need any more. It it just knows that it didn't import. Um so we're gonna go back to app JS and we're gonna add this and then we're going to save. We're gonna see what our app looks like. Um going back to it. Oh, I guess I uh and up in VM start. Oh she's pretty. Look at that. Hell yeah. All right, we're going to sit here. We're going to sit here. So it starts out as 43,188. We're going to see what it does when it updates in a minute. And why not just change it to three to seconds? Oh, well, the price, okay. the price probably doesn't um, change that quickly, does it? It's a flat dollar amount. There's no sense. I mean, I guess that makes sense. But I right, get it. Um, I mean, it's probably their free API. Like, so it doesn't. Yeah. Give you know some degree of specificity. I also want to add below the price the below the USD price the price uh no no the sats per dollar amount which is uh, the price. Hold on a second. How do you do the math on that? Um, actually, let's see. I, I'm, not even, I'm not even going to think about it. I'm not even going to think about it. I'm going to get it to Wait. do the math. No, no, shh, 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 shh. It's not, it's, it, that's not, that's the price per sat, but then you want to, or the. Oh, the sats per dollar. It's Bitcoin. It's the Bitcoin divided by, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're, we're going to, we're going to see if this can get it. I, I know, I know what we need to do because we need to divide it by on the Bitcoin side, but I'm just going to give it the information. So a sat is. One divided by one hundred millionth of a Bitcoin. So, uh, how would I do the math to figure out how many sats there are in a in one dollar and how would I put this in my app? Thank you. <laughs> Thinking about logistically the odds of my, my theory on being polite is that is the my theory on being polite to the LLM is that this thing is trained on other conversations. Granted, probably the picking through the information already has. I understand you know, your the, hypothesis the about that, but the thing is. Project. There's an, There's an underlying sentiment analysis. There's an underlying sentiment analysis that I think probably negates yeah, yeah, yeah. that. It's already but filtering that out. But, but it's fun to think about good. it that way. That I'm more yeah. likely to have a good answer because the nice conversations are more likely to produce good answers than, oh, well, you're a freaking idiot. <laughs> and when it takes over the world, maybe it will spare and our pathetic over- lives. And, and maybe, maybe it will think <laughs> that I'm useful and nice. <laughs> You are kind okay. to me. You could right. be my slave. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, AI. Um, if your app's appearance hasn't changed after updating... Why is... Oh, my God. See, it's still taking context. It's still applying the same thing from the previous conversation. It's not, like, truncating or... It, it's giving me the previous answer and paste again, that. basically. Yeah. And then just say, um, well, that... The, so the style thing is solved, but yeah, maybe that's maybe weird. that's what I should do. But just since it's trying to pull context, well, you think about it, it's trying to keep the context of this whole conversation going. So it's reading this other stuff, and it's it's apparently adding it enough or or weighing it enough that it stays in the prompt for the most recent. Man, this is a lot. Okay, it's giving me a lot here. So, uh, blah blah blah. We already know about this. Um, step one, update the state to include sats. First, you might want to update your state to store the sats per dollar value. So, constant use state. 
let's see where this is. I'm just, don't say anything. I want to see where I might put this. So fetch price, um, interval, clear. Hmm. Certainly not in the CSS. So I'm just going to add this right underneath this one. Then step two, update the API call to calculate sats. In the same use effect where you fetch the price, calculate the sats, the sats per dollar. So I'm going to add this just right underneath here, constant. Then, what's well, why is this it's giving me a... Well, we're just going to see. We're just going to see. It gives me an error. I'll give it back. Um, display sat per dollar in your app. So another return. Update the return statement. I just lost casually opened up social okay, media so this for is... three seconds and lost three IQ points. What? Yep, that happens. You're going to have to work on that. You're going to have to you're gonna have to do extra work today to try to get those IQ points back. Um, you're right. All right, so this is actually completely updating the return. And is there a bracket down here? No, there isn't. So it stopped right here. <laughs> I have to, I have to uh, repent for my sins by saying 40 hailed Sam Altman's. <laughs> oh, no, I did do it wrong, but they gave it to me already. I'm an idiot. Uh, I got ahead of myself. So I'm going to do the use effect all the way down to this. So I did do it wrong, but it doesn't matter because it fixed it for me. So I'll update the app, and I am just going to save, and then I am going to close. Oh wait, wait, you know wait, 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 wait! I almost try forgot. Try to do. We could it do. It updated. Uh... It updated. So it was one eighty eight. It was one eighty eight before, and it fell to one set. Oh whoa! It updated live. What do you mean? I just hit save, of and it. it did. I didn't know it did that. Oh yeah, Nodemon. I didn't Nodemon. know it did. That's that why you, I had to reboot it. It doesn't. It doesn't natively. It's just that's why we use Create React app. It gives us the bells and whistles. Oh. Yeah, it's a live server. Sweet. TypeScript is compiled. I didn't even know. I've been I've been closing and restarting this over and over again. Dude, holy crap! This is great. I mean, it's just generally have good a, habit a to thing. do that because when when you're, it's great for simple How stuff to do the live reload, but. Mm -hmm. uh, at, Ask ChatGPT. That kind of thing is the is the I real problem for devs devs who can't code. Yeah, yeah. Because you ask ChatGPT, and then and then you want to deploy name. it like on a name. Linode server with a CD with a with a domain name, and that just like opens up the. I think I'm not sure, but I believe even in 2024, you still need to just go and learn how to do that on your own. Deploying is is yeah. It can be relatively simple, but to be really good and efficient at it is so complicated. It's an, it's its own job, DevOps. Mm -hmm. Simple block on existing website. You have a few options and integrate React component. Build your React app, blah, blah, blah. I think GitHub and pages. Host the build app. You know what? I'm gonna stop this. I'm gonna stop this. I know. I know how I want to do it. Um, I think GitHub Pages for the average person, when you don't have a server and you just have a front end, on uh, GitHub Pages is probably the simplest. Press website in a on my WordPress website. Let's just let's just do that. You definitely can. I think you'd have to hack it, hack it a little bit. Probably. But I bet ChatGPT can hack that. Come on, ChatGPT. You're thinking I about think it. ChatGPT can only do Tell that if it, it is like it sees other people doing it. I don't. I don't know if ChatGPT can come up with novel strategies. I think it has to have seen the strategy beforehand. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I'm not Sam Altman. Might have to refresh this page. This happens sometimes. I have to just kind of like get hung up.
I'm gonna stop. We should have categories oh, for this series. Oh, We're oh, uh, just in time. Like uh, multiple levels. So like a uh, level one is like if you've never even looked at this show before and you just you're deciding to start this journey, you'd go to like the level one mm-hmm. playlist and then level two playlist for people that have like a basic understanding. That's not a bad idea. And update it again. This is so great. I have a Bitcoin price ticker. I need to do a. You could throw this on GitHub uh, pages. It's dumb simple to do that. Mm-hmm. As long as you don't have a server, it's dumb simple to deploy it. And you can use a custom domain name pretty easily. Embed using iframe. Okay. We can do simple iframe. Uh, just source with height, blah, blah, blah. Build the app. Add your app. That's going to look way shittier than you think. Uh, da, 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 da. What do you mean? It's gonna. That's going to look shitty. I mean, we should, we could try it. I'm just saying it's going to look shitty. Well, isn't it still going to just kind of look like this right now? No. It's going to be... Uh, iframes always have this weird, ugly border. Uh, the UX isn't great with them, especially if you're doing things with like accessibility. Mm-hmm. Um, and it won't resize the window dynamically, I don't believe. Unless iframes have changed, they don't resize. Uh... Which, if we want to make this as an iframe, as iframe. like a widget, that's fine. Mm. Well, I just realized I don't have. Um, but I mean, I think well, this no, is maybe a good I can. use case for iframe. This, we just need to look at this as like a little widget. So we need to build this with the intention of having it be like 600 pixels wide or something. And like 300 pixels mm-hmm. tall. All right, so I'm just going to go to use LastPass pages. Um, yeah, for like simple stuff. For stuff I'm not like really all that worried about. I need use keypad for anything for sensors. sensors. Yeah, I don't treat it. I treat it as if it's high risk. Um, let's do edit. I have very, very little info or very little stuff on this one. So, um, how do I? I really think we should continue the next episode. Even do this uh, with this project by adding in the audio and deploying it on GitHub Pages, Mm -hmm. so anyone can use it. (coughs) That's not a bad idea. Um, so, oh, whoops, that saved the wrong thing. So we're just going to do, this is my, this is the AI Unchained page that I just kind of threw together. There's no CSS. It all looks like garbage, but, um, uh, oh, I'm in the same, I'm in the same thing. Here we go. All right. So I'm going to copy code and back to Bitcoin Audible. So here's my iframe. Your React app URL.com. Well, that's not going to find it. Um, so create a custom plugin, build the app. This compiles it to a set of static files in your WordPress directory. Go to WP Content Plugins, create a new folder for your plugin, my React app. Oh, I guess it, I guess it will find it because it used that same thing. No, no not quite. Um, Copy your React app from the build folder of your React project into this new plugin folder. Inside your plugin folder, create a PHP file. Good lord. Um, here's a simple example. All right, I'm just not a hundred percent sure all of this stuff. This feels a little wonky, but I'm just going to do it word for word, like exactly what they're doing. Um, uh, so I need to npm run build is that yeah is that what we got here i've never heard anyone say that with that inflection npm run build (laughs) holy shit that's That's what you get when you get that's what you get with devs who can't code um i 
That's crazy. Uh, Usually it's at least a megabyte. How big is it? Where do you see it? Oh, uh, file oh, size whoa. after. Yeah, yeah, that's impressive. React has come a long way. All right. All right. Now create a plugin folder. All right. So I'm going to say uh, URL. I'm I'm just going to leave this. I'm just going to leave this. Um, I'm going to update. <laughs> Even though this is a live website, and I just updated it with nonsense. Um, average uh, dev. WP content. That sounds like an average plugins. dev to me. <laughs> WP content. Let's see what. I didn't think this was going to take me anywhere. Where would content be? Where is this referring to? Comments. It's not media. It could be a hallucination. Right? It could be a different version of WordPress. It could be a hallucination. That I'm, or okay. a different version um, of WordPress. Because you also got to remember that the just actually, the fundamental actually, no, nature. I I'm I'm stupid. I didn't I didn't do this. I didn't do exactly oh. what it said. Let's just see what happens when exactly what it says. Nothing. Still nothing. Okay, I thought so. Um, the, so the fundamental nature of these LLMs is they're trained on open source software. WordPress has declined in popularity over mm-hmm. the, like many years, and so the bulk of its training mm-hmm. on WordPress is probably a much older version. Um, so like little things like that can really mess up potentially its responses. Okay, so I do not have a WP Content Plugins location. Um, Maybe this is from an older version of WordPress. Do you know where I should place this in my version? (laughs) Let's just see if it does anything. (laughs) There's no idea what version I have. Guy, this is this is much more complicated than GitHub pages. We would have been yeah. done. Yeah, yeah. How would this work with something like Squarespace? Like if if somebody did like I have a, no a normal. I don't use these kind of builders. Like builder. I like to build apps. I don't really build gotcha. websites. Gotcha. Well, maybe we just do GitHub pages then, just for the sake of it. And I can GitHub come back to this and fight with this if I actually bomb this on my website. You could build a link to it on your website, or you can build it as a widget and then use it as an iframe, but the iframe links to your GitHub pages link, and it just shows like a 400 by 200 block. That's just the price tracker. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, go. and it's like I can't stress enough. GitHub Pages for this kind of thing is great. It's very simple. All right, what's what's GitHub Pages? GitHub.com slash pages. Uh, just go to yeah. Just go I'm to just GitHub. No, no, just GitHub.com. It's not a separate pages. Thing. GitHub. Uh, yeah, you don't need. The, just go to GitHub. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I'm, the, I'm, this I'm is here. Is this not a different thing? No, just just GitHub.com. Oh, it's telling you how. Go to GitHub. Okay. Yeah. Ah, son of a... It's, not what I'm it's okay. Just go to... Uh... Oh, you have to be signed in. Uh, That is not... There we go. And then... uh, Go to... No idea what this is. Profile on the top right. You don't have to. Your profile. Yep, right there. The plus sign. Or, yeah. And where are we headed? Uh, repositories. Hmm. Uh, yeah. And then new. 
Uh, Bitcoin Tracker, and it has to be public unless Bitcoin you're tracker. a GitHub Pro. Not like That's you're good fun. at GitHub, but you have GitHub Pro, the membership. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then I got that. create repository. I don't need to do anything fancy. Okay. Nope. Create repository. Very, very simple. Um, and then I would actually recommend, we should have started this in a Git repository. Uh, I would copy the SSH. SSH. It says yep. quick setup if you've done this thing before. That's the SSH. Uh, I would copy mm-hmm. that link. And then I would go to VS Code. Mm-hmm. Go to VS Code? Okay. Yeah. So we're going to replace this like Bitcoin tracker file with the... So I would just uh, copy all the files and copy... Just, just copy the entire folder, all the inside of the folder. Like the source folder? Like... Build just, node like, modules what, public SRC. All this crap? So there's the Bitcoin tracker okay, folder and it has thing. all these files. Copy all of those files and then mm-hmm. delete the Bitcoin tracker folder. Yeah. And then Okey-dokey. in your terminal. Shouldn't yeah, I create we, the Git first? Nope. Nope. Because nope, nope. I need to copy okay, nope, the Nope. Copy all the nope. Bitcoin tracker okay. files and then delete the Bitcoin tracker folder. I did. Okay. No. Okay. Uh, shit. This is okay. So get out of get out of VS Code. Go to the terminal. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we should start with Git repositories from now on. CD dot dot. Yeah. And then just remove. Yeah, and then Git RM, or not Git RM, just RM. Dash uh, RF, I think. RM RM dash R. Uh Bitcoin tracker. RM yeah, dash R Bitcoin tracker. Swan Bitcoin has the full suite of Bitcoin financial services. You can instantly buy with your bank account or wire transfer any amount of Bitcoin up to ten million dollars worth. And you can easily set up what I have been doing for ages, which is an automatic purchase of Bitcoin on a weekly or monthly basis. You just pick your time frame and then automatically withdraw it to your cold storage. And still they have free withdrawals to self-custody, which I was sure would be gone by now. But you should always treat any custodian as a point of failure. And luckily, you won't have to go anywhere for all of the information and advice you need for why you should withdraw and how to do it safely. Because Swan Bitcoin has all of the resources you need and will regularly remind you. About 80% or more of their customers automatically withdraw their coins. That is an amazing feat, if you ask me. Then they also have the Swan IRA if you have a traditional IRA and you want to get it out allocated to Bitcoin. And there's so much more. With Swan Private, they have inheritance planning. You also have Swan Business Accounts, and you can even do Bitcoin as a part of your employee benefit plans. They have an advisory. They have the Swan Vault, a multi-sig service for, for those who want to have the benefits of holding the majority of their keys, but still also want to be able to rely on a trusted institution in the case of an emergency or a disaster. If you haven't started into Bitcoin yet, Swan is an amazing place to begin. Go to swan.com slash guy. The link will be right there in the description. Again, that is swan.com slash guy. And they will know that I sent you and my beautiful face will be right there at the top of the page to greet you. I am a longtime user myself and a huge thank you to Swan for supporting this show. And I definitely recommend you check them out. Oh shit! Objects. Okay. Uh, I think I don't know. Fuck. Actually, this might be a little inconvenient. But I mean, override. Simpler. It just says it's read only for dot git. I would. Uh, can I mean, you control C out of this? I will do it a different way. This is way too. The way I'm trying to get it done is way too complicated. Let's just not do it this way. Um. Okay. Let's just make dir mk dir bitcoin tracker dash git. Gotcha. Yeah. And then... So we just have a second. Yeah. 
that we have one that's connected to get paste and then we want to get yeah. clone then we want to we, no, 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 we, we, no 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 we we want to get clone now oh okay no, no 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 don't do that don't do that don't do that go to get go to the github page and and get clone go to the github okay, page get, i'm not cd'ing yes. into this cd into that and then go to this is fuck <laughs> cd into bitcoin tracker git all right i'm i'm in that folder now and okay. i'm going back to oh, I, I think there's a bit of an offset Wherever yeah that was. now go to github yeah there is and then mm -hmm. copy the ssh thing yes mm -hmm. and then yes uh copy. get clone that you might have to sudo it i don't remember it's bad practice to sudo when you don't have to, but yeah. Empty repository. It works. Yes. Okay. So now, now code code dot or code Bitcoin tr dash tracker in the terminal. Code. Code is the interesting okay, CLI so for open VS code for VS. Yeah. Gotcha. So, uh, fuck. You sure? I guess we can't do that. I am sure it's just not added to path. I think. Can I just copy, like manually? Like, can I just take all the contents of this and dump it into here? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Let's do it. That I would. Way. I would not. Let's do it the normie way. Yes. Wait. What? Wait a minute. What the fuck? Um, that don't look right. I think we already deleted everything. E oh, shit. Can you go back to VS Code? I think we already Bitcoin deleted tracker? everything. Yeah, yeah, go back to yep. Bitcoin. We already deleted yep. everything. And now, yep, no, 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 listen to me. Now, click on the, the file explorer, and then Command Z. Mm -hmm. On the file explorer? So the left side, you see the SRC and it drops down. That's the file explorer. Yeah. Click on that. And then command Z. Maybe it'll work. We removed it through the terminal. We won't be able to go back. You're right. Fuck. Um, <laughs> damn. We should have started with a Git repository. Fuck. Um, okay, so close this out. We don't need this. No, no, no. Yeah, okay. Um, this is like hard to stay synced. Well, that means there's that a delay with your camera, actually... and there's a different delay with your your uh. Um, wait, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Uh, we're gonna see. I think we can actually just back. redo. Do 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 do. do. Wait for this to run and run. All right. <clears throat> It's funny, we had the app in like 30 seconds. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But deploying it is, is uh, hard because AI can't really do that yeah. the way it could give you the code. But I mm -hmm. do think it's just generally a good idea to start with the GitHub repo because if we did that, it would be very simple. But it might seem yeah. like doing this is more complicated than it is because we didn't start with the repo. Paste, fly, place. All right. And now I'm going to move the trash. Just I'm not going to delete it, but just keep it there in case. Um, and then we are going to CD. Uh, NPM. <clears throat> Okay, so the app is working. We're back to normal. We have the whole app. So now we go back to <laughs> my kid is up there making a throwing Being a something kid, around. It's experiments. Yep. It's, they have to learn the <laughs> physics engine of the universe. That's exactly right. Alright, so now we're in the git thing again. Git folder again. I'm gonna up, up, up until I code bitcoin tracker 2 so this is the vs code 
to Bitcoin Tracker 2. Is that is that going to work now? Oh, no, that's right. The code command didn't work. All right, so I'm just going to copy paste. I'm going to, I'm going to, again, I'm going to do the normie route. I'm going to copy all of this. I'm not even going to. Uh, okay, yeah, I guess that would be. I'm going to put it in this folder. Thirty six thousand items. That's a big app for <laughs> one file that I'm editing. Welcome to JavaScript. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> All right. So now you're not going to believe me, but I uh, swear to God, this would have been very simple if we started with the GitHub repo, or I could just like remote in and just do the. Well, copy we'll do that next thing. time. Mm -hmm. So now what do I do? So I've got the, my Bitcoin tracker dash git is updated. Oh, you're not code. sharing your How do I anymore. get it to GitHub again? I'm not? Um, oh, whoops. No. It closed out, but I thought this because you were signing into some shit or something. <laughs> Maybe. I, I, I didn't mean to. I mean, it won't let me share it right now for some reason. Ah. Oh, oh, no, I'm an idiot. I just, I didn't select it. Okay. Um, so. Did you. Now I've got it. Push? In... No, that's what I was asking. So I need to get push. Origin main. Not a get. Oh, get push LS? origin main. LS. LS. No, 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 no. LS. Oh, yeah, C yeah, CD into Bitcoin tracker. And then. Okay. Bitcoin. Gotcha. Or, uh, now Git push. Git can look up the tree, but not down the tree for uh, a Git file. Okay. Does not match any. Failed to push some refs. Git push origin main. Error. Git add dot. Git, Git add push. dot. No, 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 get add dot. You have to stage and then commit and then push. Get add dot. Okay. Uh, space dot, space get dot. Space, space add dot. dot. So get space dot. It's just. It, oh, that's get my location. Just, okay. Yeah, the okay. get is just saying, I want to do something with get. The add means stage mm -hmm. these files to mm -hmm. commit them. And then the dot is everything in here. So you're just saying, take okay. everything in the root and stage it to commit. Yeah, and then it should say that it committed a bunch of stuff. It's hard because it, there's like delay, uh, but the delay on of your yeah, desktop is different than the delay of your camera. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh shit! Uh, Control C. Uh, uh, can you LS again? Oh, it's done. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit. What do we do? Uh nothing that matters. So I guess get get commit dash m. Uh and then dash m. Get yeah. Commit I'll just send you this. Dash uh m. it's hard to explain in words. Requires a value. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just sending it on key. This whole list of stuff we get is redonkulous. Git is not, yeah. I mean, Git is incredibly useful. It it saves a lot of time when you know how to use it, but yeah, it's just it's the not the kind of thing that you can really explain. Are probably verbally. not going to be like I should. Like I guess I should be asking AI how to do this. Do you think it would? I don't think it would be. I think this is this is like devs who can't code. It's still a pipe dream to be able to do everything without knowing anything. Um, but mm -hmm. th I think this is the kind of thing where it gets off the rails, uh, quickly dealing with AI. Let's see. Um, okay. Um, 
I think it would be in uh, the devs who can't code's best interest to just learn the the. There's a few commands with Git. If you take like 15 minutes, that or 20 minutes, quotation to learn them, initial commit. Yeah, that's you copy paste exactly like, that. Is that actually what I should do? Yep. And I could show you why. I could show you why when we're done. Okay. Okie dokie. Just did a whole bunch of crap. Holy. I'm not going to scroll up through all that mess. All right. Um, so. Okay. So now what? So I think I have committed. Uh, Git push origin main. Which is one of those Git things. I think it's in the best interest of devs who code to understand that there's always going to be a whole bunch of shit you're doing that you don't understand and don't even try to understand it until it goes mm-hmm. wrong. Because, yeah, it's... Because it's so, just too much. Yeah. It, you, too much almost doesn't even begin to describe it. <laughs> it's way too much. If you think that's tractable... It's just kind of fly by the seat of your pants. Yeah. If you think it's a tractable thing by, as a side hustle, you have absolutely no idea how complicated it is. Um, so oftentimes, just going along, and if nothing goes wrong, don't worry about it, is probably the best way to go. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so now... What we need to do is deploy this to GitHub right, pages. So now we have a thing. Um, yeah. So there's an NPM package specifically for this called react-gh-pages. I just happen to know that. So we should probably ask ChatGPT, how do we use the NPM package react-gh-pages to deploy this on GitHub pages? I would also probably say I'm not going to know that that's going to be there. I want to see what it says if I don't know what that is. How how do we Oh. Uh, we might want to remove the NPM Let's be package. really generic. How would we yep. deploy yeah. this to GitHub pages? Yeah. This to That'd be GitHub crazy pages. if it gives a nice meaningful complete answer to a question like that. Answer. Yeah. So this says Update homepage and package.json. Add a homepage field to your package thing, blah, blah, blah. Do my git uh, for the repository. Then install gh pages. Save dev. I'm going to automate the deployment process. Add deployment scripts. Yeah, that's in the package.json. This might look convoluted, but All when right. you open up the package.json, it's actually very straightforward what they're saying to do. Um, no oh, there. shit. Uh, I would close out VS Code. Close it? Yeah. Okay. Wait, what the hell is... Fuck. Why would I close it? I was going to edit these this way. The package.json. I mean, I can just open it manually. And that's trash, too. Um... Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, I'm so used to just having the VS Code project open. Um, mm-hmm. but I also use I also I use Vim keybinds with VS Code, so I would just like for mm-hmm. shift uh for V shift D or or whatever and just things like that where I can just delete and copy and paste shit easily. Um, so you'll see on line fourteen, I believe, the, the scripts. Mm-hmm. You could just copy and replace it entirely. Replace. I would replace. Yeah. Okay. Because there's shit that the React scripts just don't matter, except for React script starts. Gotcha. 
All right. And yeah, then, do I need this homepage? I, I feel like I should just copy it just because. Um, yeah, yeah. I would do that. Not for you, but I believe G, the GH pages package looks at that. But it's, it's I believe just it's going to be HTTPS. I would add it above name, but it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't matter. Above name? You just generally want to keep right. everything above. The general rule of thumb is for anything don't that's not. Don't mix it in. Just add it. I yeah. would add it to the top new new features. Um, so you want to change the your username dot github dot io. No, it's not that. It's not that. Um. So replace your repo name with Bitcoin Dash Tracker. It's that's it's not that either. It you're not gonna find the link. You're just gonna have to type it. Okay. Oh wait, no, no, no. Hey, click uh 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 click on code the button on the page web page, and then the HTTPS. Yes, there it goes. There's gonna be a dot .git at the end, and you just want to delete that. So get rid of the dot .git. Yes. All right. So I'm going to save this. Epic. We did this. And go back. Okay. Install. I don't think I have this, so I'm going to go ahead and install this. Do you know how to check? Um, Dev dependencies. No. I, well, quick Stop question. Jason. Dev dependencies? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's not even there. So you definitely have not installed it. It's not even there. All right. Awesome. Eight vulnerabilities. Don't know what any of that means. Um, None of them really added for what we're doing. If we were taking right. people's credit card information, then maybe worry about it. But. Okay, create so now we... production and then GH pages pushes this to the GH pages of your GitHub repository. I would run right. npm run pre deploy so... and then npm run deploy. Just pre deploy because we did update the package that uh... JSON. Mm -hmm. Pre deploy, yes. Because we did update the package .json, which seems relevant to this. And then npm run deploy. Yes. All right, let's now, see what happens. Like, AI isn't giving every answer, but again, like I said, it's about understanding the technologies on a higher level and then using AI to mm -hmm. give you the nitty gritties. But to fill in you the still gaps. have to develop some level of understanding of what you're doing. Because, like, not knowing anything, but doing everything is still that's not realistic and it never will be but at, making apps has become so tractable for the average person that i think everyone should learn how to do it because so where around, would my there's not going to be? be space for you in 10 years if you don't um yeah uh uh go to the package.json go to Still not there. I know how to say it. Um, oh shit, we messed up. The homepage is wrong. Uh, but AI told you how to do it. No, it didn't. Um, I don't know how to respond to that with words. Your username. Let's just do what it says. It should be this. Your yes. repo name. But it's... Uh, oh, I didn't really it's follow its instructions, so let's see. 404. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, okay, it's going to be a little confusing, but this 
all of this problem stems from the fact that we did not start from a GitHub repo. So go to the package.json. That's the right page. Mm-hmm. That's the that is the right page. It's loading 404s. Um it says Bitcoin Tracker 2 on the package.json. Uh, is the name change gotcha. that and then yeah. git add git, git commit git push okay and then do all that other stuff oh again. one more one more thing uh take the link that i sent you on keep and replace the home page with that link uh i already did. so close you, you want me to change that's, the that's dot different IO? from here Oh, yeah, yeah. Change the dot IO. Yes. Slash Bitcoin dash. Yeah. Okay. We are so close. All right. We are so close. All right. All right. All right. And now I want to get add dot. Yes. Again. Yes. And I also think there's a chance that push uh, get commit dash M. Nope. Not get push. You stage the changes, but you did not commit them. Dash M. Uh, boy, mate. Oh, initial. Yeah. Get commit dash do M. Do you do the same thing as? Whole, uh, quotations. Yes. And then any, uh, not initial commit that has a specific meaning, but fixed, fixed for GitHub right. or something. Fixed for GH pages or some shit like that. It's not breaking. What is this? Just it's like just a name? The, then I'm just. The messages. Yeah, I could show you on GitHub. Or what that does okay so this is just like uh, this is kind of like my purposes I, it's like a note yeah all right and then get push yeah we didn't add a git ignore which is why you're but that's okay git push should work and then npm run pre deploy and then npm run deploy so many steps. All right. Published. Okay. 404. And now it's looking I'm for... going to... Okay. Um, go to... Go to... I know what this is. Go to GitHub. Just github.com. And mm-hmm. then go to settings. <clears throat> go to what? Settings. Do you see it? Not on the top top. Uh, fuck. Mm. Yes, yes, there. Uh, pages. Oh, Jesus Christ, this delay is driving me crazy. I know, the delay is crazy. Uh, left side, pages. Like... Where? Pages. Oh, oh, I'm an idiot. I don't want to say up or down or where you are relative to your cursor because of the delay. Because um, it's, it's wrong, yeah. Your site branch. is live at Change the branch this. to main. Change the branch to main. No, no, no. no. We already got that? Yeah. Go Change the branch. Got it. To main. And then save. Mm-hmm. How do I say? How do I save? You don't see the button to the right? Main, root, save? It's on the same row. Oh, oh, oh. The... it's like right local, like yeah. right there. Okay. Which is weird. Now I... visit site. Yeah, every little field in this form has its own save button, which is a little annoying. You might have to empty cache and hard reload. Just from experience, you generally have to do that with GitHub pages. There we go. Let's go! Okay, now you can now you can see this anywhere. Like, this is just an app that Sweet. is deployed and publicly available from your GitHub. That is awesome. All right. Uh, so with that, let's go ahead and just close this one out. And we will come back and make any modifications or do our little figure out the audio trick uh, later. Uh, but I think we've got a working app. We have the Bitcoin price. Whoops. Um, we have the uh, Bitcoin price and we have the sats per dollar. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll have have it be able to play audio 
uh, at some point in the next round. All right. This is Debs. We can't code. We are out. Thank you.